What's up guys, Android and OSX here with a tutorial on how to make your Android phone look like it's running HTC Sense. I am at the moment using a Droid X, no custom ROMs, just plain Moto Ninja. So first thing you want to do is go to the marketplace, search for He Launcher, H-E-L-E-U-N-C-H-E-R. It should be the first option. So you're going to want to install that, and that application is a home replacement application that's going to make your dock bar look like the Sense UI dock bar. So when you go home, it's going to default look like it's running um, Gingerbread. So what you want to do is you want to hit Menu and go to Customize and scroll to the right until you see the Sense one. And you can see there's a couple other ones if you want to make your phone look like anything else. So tap Sense, hit Apply. And now you can see your dock bar looks like it's running Sense. And your application tray looks just like Sense UI. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down, go to Browser, wait for that to load up, then go to Google Images. Then when you're at Images, you want to search for HTC Sense Background. There we go. And the first one is the one you're going to want to choose. Hit view full size. And once you're there, hold your finger on it and tap set as wallpaper. Now there are live wallpapers of Sense UI that you can get on the marketplace, but those cost money and we want to do this for absolutely free. All right, next thing you want to do, go back to the marketplace. There we go. and open or search for no lock this is going to help with our lock screen it should be the second one down and it's going to be free so install it and then you want to go to the search bar again and search for lockbot l-o-c-k-b-o-t this is the application that's going to make our lock screen look like it's running sense now the free one has everything you're going to need for Sense. The full version has a few others such as um, Froyo and Galaxy S lock screens. Now you want to wait for that to install. Hit home. Now go to your application tray. Scroll until you find no lock. And I just opened the wrong application. Whoops. All right, <laughs> go back to the application tray, and search for no lock. I should bring up a little welcome menu. You can just hit OK to that, and then tap the lock, and it will turn lock screen off. That way, when you turn off your device or you hit the lock screen button up at the top, it's not going to display the lock. Now, next thing you want to do is you want to go to LockBot Free, wait for it to initialize, Hit OK. I generally don't hit the improvement. So you want to go to a new theme. You want to choose Hero, which is running HTC Sense. Uh, hit the menu button, then background, and then tap wallpaper. And that's just going to change your wallpaper to look like the one you already have. Now hit menu, and then save. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to my themes, hit menu, playlist. You want to make sure everything is unchecked. Uh, the check marks will pretty much just rotate different lock screens, which you don't want. You want just the hero lock screen. So then hit the plus button, scroll down until you find your custom hero. And there we go, your lock screen is set to hero. So now, when you shut the device off, it might not work the first time. It should have, there we go, the sense lock screen. There are a lot more customizations you can make to it to make it look more like whatever you want. The other nice thing about this is most lock screen replacements, what they do is they only work for about 15 seconds and you constantly get your old lock screen flashing back. And this one's very nice because when you turn the lock screen off, it actually replaces it. So next thing you want to do is you want to get a keyboard. And the link to download the keyboard will be in the description. It's in the dot .zip so you might want to move it from your computer to your phone. So I'm in my keyboard settings right now, and I checked HTC.IMEMOD. HTC 
And now what this did is it activated the HTC Sense keyboard from the Evo 4G. Someone took it out of the uh, ROM and ported it to work on the Droid X. It actually works very nicely. I use this keyboard more as my original. So then go to some place where you can type in, hold your finger, and go to input method. And then as you can see, you can choose the HTC keyboard. And it will pop up and work just like it does on, say, the Evo or another Sense phone. There we go. This is a test of the HTC keyboard. All right. Once you test that that works, you want to get the uh, Sense UI clock widget. So then you can download millions and millions of them from the marketplace. There's a lot of different ones. So you want to do is you want to scroll down until you find yours. I have Sense Analog Clock. Now there are a lot of different settings you can go through like weather, Fahrenheit. I just set a fake location. <laughs> so here it is. And this one doesn't look, you know, 100% like Sense UI. But certain ones like Beautiful Widgets, for say, have very accurate looking sense clocks. So that's the end of the tutorial. If you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Later.